From the time you are born until the time you are an adult, your body grows without you even thinking about it. How does it do that? Well, your body follows a set of instructions. These instructions aren't written down or spoken out loud. It is a code made out of deoxyribonucleic acid, otherwise known as DNA. DNA has steps or bases, kind of like a ladder. A DNA ladder has lots of steps, and they can be arranged in a lot of different ways. The pattern of these makes up the instructions for you. This is your genetic blueprint, and each individual instruction is a gene. Some of the genes tell your body how to shape your nose, what color your hair will be, if you can roll your tongue, if your earlobes are detached or attached, and much more. Guess how many genes make up your body and its code? 20,000. Half are from your dad and half are from your mom. Guess what? Just because your brothers and sisters come from the same parents doesn't mean your genetic code is the same. No one has the same DNA blueprint as anyone else, unless you have an identical twin. Even though your genetic code is unique, it's similar to your parents and your biological family. That's why, if you do a DNA test, the scientists can tell you some of the people you are related to. How do you inherit traits from your parents? Let's see if we can figure it out with some help from Heather. Hi, I'm Heather, and we're going to talk a little bit about how your parents' eye color can actually help determine your eye color through genetics. We're going to be looking at a Punnett square. And so what that is, is a way of looking at your parents' traits and how they combine and possibly make the traits that you're going to have. So this is a Punnett square. When you're using a Punnett square, you're going to use this side and this side, and you're going to put the traits of your parents on those sides. Right now, we're going to look at how blue eyes and brown eyes are going to interact and come out with the potential eye colors of uh, the children of two parents. So say you have a parent with blue eyes. They're gonna have two genes. One gene is gonna be a small b, and another gene is gonna be another small b. That's because they're recessive traits. If you've got a recessive trait, to actually show that trait, you have to have both of the small letters for that trait. Now, say you have a parent with brown eyes. They're gonna have at least one large b, and then either another large b or a small b. In both of these cases, the parent's going to have brown eyes. We'll start off with the case of the parent who just has both large bees. Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna take the large bee and you're gonna put it in this square and this square. Now, you're also going to look at this bee and you're gonna put it down in this square and then the one below. Then you look at the second parent. You take their letter and you add in each of the squares as well. So what you see here is that every single kid that these parents are going to have is going to end up with one large B and one little B in their DNA. What this means is that every single one of these kids is going to have brown eyes no matter what. Now let's look at a different case. Now say you have a parent with brown eyes but instead of having a second big B, they have a little B. Well, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna put a big B there and a big B there, but we're gonna take this little B and start putting it down. A little B there and a little B there. Then we do the same thing we did over here and add the little Bs. So if you can remember from last time, if you want to think about it for a second, what color eyes do you think that these kids are going to have and these kids are going to have? Yeah, so these kids are going to end up with brown eyes and these kids are going to end up with blue eyes. So you can see how in these different cases, the kids are going to either end up with completely brown eyes or in this case, there's a 50% chance that the kids are going to have blue eyes and a 50% chance that they're going to have brown eyes. 
So you can look at your parents and see what color eyes they have and look at your eyes and see what color eyes you have and see what chance it is that you got that color eyes. There's our explanation of Punnett squares. I hope you enjoyed it.